the Lord says, My children, you are the temple of the living God. In 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 16, Paul says, You are the temple of the living God, and the Spirit of God dwells in you. The Spirit of God dwells in you. In 1 Corinthians 6, 19, the Bible says, you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Do not be afraid. The world may say you are nothing. The world may say you are corrupt. Your own heart may say you can never move forward. But this morning as we have come to worship the King of Kings, the Lord says, my daughter, my son, you are not an orphan in this world. You are my temple. You are the temple of the living God. You are the temple of the Lord Holy Spirit. How much we should rejoice. How much we should praise God. Because God has chosen us for him to come and live in us. How much we should praise him. As we are the temples of the living God. As we believe it. And as we walk in this grace which God has given us. How does he make us? his temple. Firstly, in Acts chapter 20 and verse 28, the Bible says, the Lord has purchased his church with his own blood. With his own blood. Not with the possessions of men. Not with the money of the world. Not with the conquests of any emperor. But the Lord has purchased Every one of us with his own blood. Let us honor the blood of Jesus. Many years ago, when my father was preaching in the United Kingdom, a man came to lead the worship. He sang so beautifully and the presence of God flowed amongst the people. But then he saw, my father saw, that he, had on, he did not have three fingers. And my father asked him after the meeting, what happened? He said, sir, I was a singer of this world. I was a great singer in the secular market. But then I had no peace. I had all the money, all the fame, all the talent, but I had no peace. So I was longing to get peace, so I went from place to place. And somebody said, there is a Satan's church here, and if you go there, they will give you peace. So I went in, it was all dark. The chief priest said, only blood can give you peace. So cut your finger and pour your blood here. I cut my finger and poured the blood, it was so painful. But then I had no peace, I had only pain. He said, do one more. And then he said, do one more time. And I cut all the three fingers. No peace, but only pain. I ran into the streets like a madman, longing for peace. With my blood pouring down, a man stopped me on the way and said, what's happening? What's happening? And I told him this. He said, don't you know, you don't need to shed your blood. There's somebody who has shed his blood for you. Who has shed all his blood for you and given his life for you. He is the prince of peace. He's ready to come into your heart and give you peace. And he made me kneel down and give my life to Jesus. And behold, the peace of God filled my heart. Today, I carry this peace around the world. He said, the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses you from all sin. From all sin. From all sin. He said, truly, the blood of Jesus Christ cleansed me from all sin. He has purchased me with his blood to be his child. And he has transformed my body to become his temple. We have a great opportunity to give our bodies as a living sacrifice to Jesus. 
to give our souls to him so that the king of kings can come and live in us and make our bodies his temple our spirits his spirit to be one with us he that is joined with the lord is one spirit with the lord all your fears of the world all your tremblings before the world can vanish as he makes you his temple shall we surrender our life totally to him and rejoice and say i do not belong to myself lord it's no more i but christ living in me christ living in me there's an old english song which says oh the love that sought me oh the blood that bought me oh the grace that brought me to the fold wondrous grace that brought me to the fold shall we rejoice and honor god and sing this chorus oh the love that sought me oh the blood that bought me oh the grace that brought me to the fold wondrous grace that brought me to the fold oh the love that sought me oh the blood that bought me Oh the grace that brought me to the fold wondrous grace that brought me to the fold he pointed to the nail prints for me his blood was shed a mocking crown so tawny was placed upon his head I wondered what he saw in me to suffer such deep agony Oh the love that sought me oh the blood that bought me oh the grace that brought me to the fold wondrous grace that brought me to the fold wondrous grace that brought me to the fold oh the love of jesus he loves you and he has made you his temple by washing you with his blood and purchasing you as his child and again when he makes you his temple he puts his eyes upon you if you read Second Chronicles 7 and verse 16 God says for now I have chosen and sanctified this house that my name may be there forever and my eyes and my heart will be there perpetually So God gives you his name the name of Jesus is put upon every one of us and he puts his eyes upon us all the time many times we say where are you lord are you watching why this suffering but he says as i made you my temple i put my name upon you at the name of jesus every knee will bow in my name you will cast out devils i have given you that name and i put my eyes upon you oh, to be upon you always my years are always my heart is always upon you we all know about shah jahan his son came and imprisoned him because he was sorrowing after the death of his wife he left the kingdom and he was sorrowing for his wife sorrowing for his wife the son took over the kingdom and arrested his father his father begged him son take away my kingdom take away my glory take away everything that i have but don't take me away from taj mahal because my heart is there because my heart is there and so his son put him in a fort from where he could watch taj mahal every day and shah jahan would sit up for hours and hours and hours and gaze at taj mahal 
and he died there but thank god our lover jesus has never died after he rose up from the dead he is alive and he has put his heart upon you and he is watching you always he says my heart is upon my daughter my heart is upon my son whom i have made my temple and let me watch over my son watch over the souls of my son yes he watches over our souls day and night day and night he does it for what the scripture says in verse 15 now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayer that is made in this place every prayer that comes out of your heart the ears of the lord are open to hear it and his eyes are attentive to hear the prayer hear the prayer several years ago this was several several years ago my grandmother when she was 16 years old she was married to my grandfather from those days there was tremendous poverty in the family they were living in a hut in a village and my grandfather did not have any money so he heard that the army was recruiting people during the second world war to go to the second world war and he ran away from the house and enlisted himself and went to italy those days we didn't have mobile phone or even phone they did not have that and my grandmother had conceived and she was full of fear because she was missing her husband so young and the time for delivery came she was in great fear what would happen to her and she went to the small church which was in the village it was empty she went to the altar and cried and cried and cried her heart out she said how am i going to bear this child and what would happen after that what is my future what is the future of this child but then the spirit of god rose up as she prayed in the altar and she said lord i'm going to change my prayer if you give me a boy i will name him samuel and i will give him back to you as your prophet she didn't know much about ministry she didn't know anything about ministry but the holy spirit made her pray holy spirit made her pray that prayer and sure enough she got a boy and she called him samuel samuel the nakran and truly god raised him up to be a prophet to millions of people to be a millions of people our heart and god's heart unites together and he makes us pray filled with the holy spirit without sorrow or tears or worries about the future and he makes us pray his will according to romans 8:26 and makes us pray what god is going to do in the future as my grandmother prayed give me a boy i will call him samuel and he will be your prophet not a girl but a boy was born and truly god raised my father god will do it for you you are not an orphan in this world you are the temple of the living god your heart and the heart of jesus are knit together to know the plans of god and to pray through the holy spirit holy spirit pray with groanings which cannot be uttered but praying god's will according to romans 8:27 and your life will operate according to god's will there will be peace there will be peace there will be peace your life will not be orchestrated looking at your neighbor or your relatives or the people of the world but it will be orchestrated by the plans of god which god has made for you in heaven we are in this world but we are those belonging to jesus 
We are not of this world. So heavenly blessings shall surely come upon you. Shall we all sing together? Fear not, I am with thee, blessed golden rain, like a star of glory, lighting up my way. Clouds of midnight, this bright promise shone. I will never leave thee, never will leave thee alone. Everybody, no, never alone, no. his temple so that he can reveal himself through us to the world the Bible says seek me first and all these things shall be added unto you that's what the Lord says in Matthew 6 33 and he says for those who seek him he's so near that they can even touch him Acts 17 27 he's so near that they can reveal Jesus to the world. There was a singer in the court of a king who never knew Jesus. His name was Vedanayam Sastriyar. He's written the greatest lyrics ever. And one day he was going to the court of the king. You know, before going to the court of the king, he would worship his deity. You know how he would worship? He would tie his legs to the ceiling and upside down he would worship his deity. Because he would say, I should not stand on the same ground in which my deity is standing. So much reverence. And God saw his heart. How he was seeking for the real God. And one day as he was going to the king's court, right in the sky, he saw an open vision with his eyes open. And he saw someone carrying a cross. Wounded, bleeding. And his heart was moved and he was drawn to him and he found out it was Jesus. It is Jesus. He gave his life to Jesus and he started writing the lyrics and the hymns about Jesus. He stopped writing about the king but the king of kings became the lord of his life and millions of people have found the lord singing these hymns in our churches. What a joy. Even today, you can find him. He will appear to you and you will bring him to millions of people. And finally, in Ephesians 5 and verse 27, the Bible says, He makes you his temple to take you and present you to the Almighty God. As a glorious church without spot or wrinkle but with holiness without blemish. He wants to make you his glorious church and present you to God when he comes back the second time. You are the body of Christ and Jesus Christ wants to present you holy and blemishless without wrinkle or spot we have someone who makes us holy 
and blemishless without spot or wrinkle that's the holy spirit in second corinthians 3 and verse 18 the bible says by the spirit we are transformed from glory to glory into the image of jesus image of jesus that's why the church every time we come to worship every time we hear the word of god every time we are sanctified in the presence of god as we take his body and his blood we are transformed as the holy spirit comes upon us into the image of christ so that jesus can take us and present us as a glorious church to the father how much he depends on you to be his body to be wrinkle free to be spot free to present us as a glorious church how much we have to surrender to the will of god live according to the will of god so that the name of jesus will not be put down today let us surrender to him surrender to him and tell him lord i surrender it's no more i but christ living in me living in me i am the body of christ the temple of the holy spirit with the spirit of god living in me to transform me into the image of jesus shall we surrender ourselves to the lord as we say yes lord yes lord i surrender myself to him to you lord jesus says he that is filthy in the world let him become more filthy she that is unrighteous let her become more unrighteous but you my child you are holy become more holy you are righteous become more righteous because you have been transformed into my image i am coming quickly and i will give you my reward as a glorious church transforming you as a glorious church into the image of jesus jeeva prayana horati he na nanjyote ge barvanu isu jeeva prayana horati he na nanjyote ge baruwa isu isu ಜ್ಯೋತಿಗೆ ಬರ್ವನು ಈಸು ಏಸು ನನ್ ಜ್ಯೋತಿಗೆ ಬರ್ವನು ಈಸು ಲಾಡ್ ಜೀಸಸ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಯು ಹವ್ ಲವ್ ದಸ್ ಲಾಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಸರೆಂಡರ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೋಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಯು wash us with your blood cleanse us and unite us with your bones with your flesh with your body as one fill us with thy holy spirit and transform us into your image now i pray that you will answer the prayers of your people lord your heart is knit with your heart and your eyes are upon them now listen to their cry whatever they need give it to them this morning lord do miracles in the name of jesus and send them back with miracles from your presence every prayer answered by your mighty power yesu kariyutani yesu kariyutani ಬಾಲದಿಂದ ತನ್ನ ಹಸ್ತವನೀಡಿ ಈಸು ಕರೆಯು ತಾನೇ ಹಂಬಾಲದಿಂದ ತನ್ನ ಹಸ್ತವನೀಡಿ ಈಸು ಕರೆಯು ತಾನೇ ಕಣ್ಣೀರ 
Amen. God bless you.